some odd miles. We have about almost 10 knots of breeze, so it'll take us a while. From here to there, it's very shallow, so we might just sail till we're tired and then drop an anchor because it's all about 15 feet deep. Or we'll just keep sailing if the conditions are calm and get there tomorrow morning. So we will see. Bimini was a pretty nice place to stay until the weekend. It was really loud until about 4 in the morning. But we couldn't get our phone because they were closed early for the holiday and then closed for New Year's. We had Wi-Fi, emailed everybody, got a lot of our plan, a lot of them were safe. There is North Rock. It's a chunk of rock and a lit beacon north of Bimini. We are going around the top of the island now and about to head due east.
We anchored outside Great Harbor K last night, got there about 1.30 this morning. Really easy entry, no coral, no shoals we even had to think about. And now we are motoring in this is kind of like tropical paradise. There's this tiny little cut we have to go through. Just to the left of that green sign, that's our entrance. Here is the tiny cut in the Great Harbor K. The marina we wanted to stay at was full. So we dinghied in, went to the marina office, found out where we could leave our dinghy. They gave us a little map of the area. So there was a phone store somewhere, which we need. We weren't able to do our phone stuff in Bimini because it was closed and the credit card machine wasn't working. So we're gonna go to a beach club where we can hopefully get Wi-Fi today and get our bearings. And that is the mission for the day. It's about a mile, which is fine. We're tough cruisers. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. January 5th, Tuesday. It is windy, winds from the north, 30 to 40 knots. We are still tucked away in Bay of Pirates in Great Harbor K. It's kind of crappy out. Maybe it will rain, maybe it won't. Where did I take the dinghy and bikes ashore in a couple hours and go to Unique Treasures, hopefully get some SIM cards. And maybe get some Wi-Fi, figure out how to set all of our devices up. Maybe take out trash, catch up on reading. We're about 10 gallons short on diesel and there's a fuel dock nearby. Anytime there's a fuel dock nearby, <laughs> it's a good idea to fill up because you never know when there's not gonna be a fuel dock nearby. So we're sort of just tucked away in this little anchorage by ourselves. Tried to pick up weather on the single side band this morning and I could not get a good enough signal to get it to work. It's just all gibberish. We are pretty much surrounded, 180 degrees. The weather certainly does not look like it's getting better. our fourth day in Great Harbor Cay, and the weather is just getting worse and worse and worse. We've been handed by 30 to 40 knot winds pretty much the entire time we've been here. 
and today it feels like it's a little worse than it has been. So we're just hanging out on the boat. I'm baking some bread, just working on video. And it is crazy. Tried catching some water because we were getting so much rain, but it was a fruitless effort on the wind. Been our day so far. Gusts up to about 40 knots. We're in a protected area, but still getting blown around a bit. <laughs> Seems like our weather is either huge, huge weather where we can't move or it's dead flat. So we motor to and fro in between weather holes. We have so much wind, we're getting up to 15 amps of power out of our wind generator. I am making us some oatmeal bread for lunch. Don't worry there, little oatmeal bread. I'm not trying to get a rise out of you. I'm just checking on how things are doing. So Chef Chalet is back here in the galley making bread today. And he just explained to us how to time bread. So cooking in a boat oven is really crappy or baking in a boat oven is really crappy. So this is his sort of time frame for, a basic time frame for baking bread. So 350 for about 25 minutes, sort of cook it low and slow, um, but that's not really hot enough to bake the bread completely. So then you go up to 425, or at least on our oven, 425 for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then turn the oven off completely and let the residual heat bake the bread so that it doesn't burn. So all you boaters out there, try making your own bread. The bread is all done, just has to cool, and then we can eat. I'm so hungry. All right, lunch is served. Some hot tea, some hot bread, and some honey we got from South Carolina. More, bon appetit. So today is a cooking day. I actually hate cooking, but I like to eat, so that's why we're making lots of food. So I made some empanadas. We had some um, Mexican veggie and bean stuff left over from yesterday. So I made some empanada dough and then stuffed them. And now I'm gonna bake it, not fry it. And we'll see how it goes. I've never actually made empanadas before, but I have eaten lots of them. So I figured it's the perfect meal to make. So after about four nights in Bay of Five Pirates, pretty much Bullock's Harbor, we finally have nice weather. It is sunny. The wind is maybe 10, 15 knots out of the north or northeast. And so we are going to sail around the north part of Great Harbor Cay and then go back down about two miles from where we are now is where we'll anchor at the end of the day but there's shoals in everywhere so you have to go around the island so we are right back here so we're gonna sail out and around and around and around and down and end up at this beach right here there's a beach club right here that has great Wi-Fi and a great bar, so we'll probably go there. There's snorkeling here, snorkeling here, so maybe we'll spend a night, maybe two nights. We'll just have to see how it goes. I think we're finally going to get to sail today. It's been a while. Let's see if we remember how to do this.
fish number two for the day. He was getting attacked by something as I was reeling him in. That's pretty crazy. We made it to the east side of Great Harbor Cay. Was about 20 miles. We sailed most of it, so that was good. We hadn't sailed that far in, in a long time. We've been doing a lot of motor sailing lately. So we definitely had to shake the cobwebs off a little bit. We caught two good sized snapper. Right, snapper. We'll have to check our little fish picture thing and figure out what they are. So we're gonna grill those up with some pineapple tonight and some Spanish rice. Chef Shaoli is really doing wonders in the kitchen these days. It's a little rocky, so we might have to learn how to rig a swell bridle so we're not rocking so much. We caught two snapper today while we were sailing. And so I am grilling them with some seasonings and pineapple. Chef Charlie's in the house. Who is in the house? What was Chef Charlie's in the house? Oh. We made it to our first deserted beach in the Bahamas, Petite K. All right, baby, we gotta find a way onto the other side of the island. There has to be a path, right? <laughs> we'll either walk down that way or that way. Yeah, I feel like this is also the more likely one. back to the dinghy, rinse the salt water off our bodies at least, make some lunch, and then I don't know what we're gonna do. Go to the beach club. Go to the beach club. 
So we just had a little snack, got all of our snorkel gear squared away, and now we're going to this place called the Beach Club. They have a little restaurant and bar there, but more importantly for us, they have Wi-Fi. So we can upload some videos in the vlog. And get food that's not boat food. Ha! It's flashy out here. Here is a better shot of the beach club. And then just this beautiful empty beach. We went snorkeling over there today. That's Petite K. See if I can find our dinghy out there. There's the dinghy. We dinghy it in, and where's Bosco? There. There's Bosco way out there. Jill and I are always kind of looking for non crowded spots, so this is pretty much paradise to us. A huge anchorage with only one other boat. We went to the beach club, and we were the only, the only customers. <laughs> So on this perfect beach, it doesn't really get much better than that. So last night in Great Harbor K, it's been really nice while we were here. Last night, it was a horrible rolling anchorage. So we learned how to rig a swell bridle to keep the boat from rolling so much. So hopefully tonight we'll have a lot better night than last night. We had lots of fun snorkeling today. You can see all of our stuff out. We found some awesome conch shells. This one we just thought was pretty. And this one we're going to try turning into a horn. 